don't have any time for any gossip now. Right. Eh? Yes. Hey guys, we are back for another video. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And also let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, and also enable your bell notification so that you are always notified when new videos are uploaded. So let's jump quickly right into this situation. Now, Kamora Lee Simmons, for those of you who may not know, she was married to Russell Simmons at a very young age, which is a whole nother story. But for those of you who also don't know, she has had a lot of controversial issues with Diddy. One, including if you guys know, or if you don't, you know now, she was really one of the ones that was pushing for Kim Porter to have another autopsy. If you guys do recall, Kim Porter's first autopsy did reveal um, something very different than the second autopsy. Kamora Lee Simmons was one of the ones that was actually rooting for her to get another autopsy. Also, Kamora Lee Simmons was really close friends with Kim Porter. She knows a lot of Diddy's dirty secrets. And let's just say they were not friends. It is also alleged that they got into an author, uh, altercation um, in which Diddy potentially had push Kimora um, or something to that nature. So Diddy and Kimora, they do not have a very good relationship and it is speculated that she she doesn't like him based on her best friend who was kim porter well some news broke about a day or so ago with regards to kimora lee simmons and it's kind of speculated did diddy have something to do with this well let's just jump right in kimora lee simmons um she revealed on social media that her home had caught on fire. Um, she stated that her and her, you know, her, the children were fine, but suddenly her home caught on fire. Um, and this is what she had to say. My house caught fire. The kids and I are all fine. I cannot express enough my deepest gratitude to the numerous battalion leaders and units that attended to us for many hours today and quite possibly saved our lives so kimura she said saved their lives so she was obviously in the house um so i don't want to get creeped out i don't want to creep y'all out but listen i'm starting to think where in the hell was diddy at like it didn't, it didn't, it didn't allege that say that he had anything to do with it. This is all me speculating at this moment because we know that this dude has done some dirty things and we know that people have disappeared um, around him. So this is all me speculating as to where was Diddy? If you guys don't know, Kamora Lee has been very outspoken about Kim Porter. She has spoken out profusely about Kim Porter's death and what she feels like could have potentially happened to Kim Porter. So I'm just wondering, honey, did, did Diddy have something to do with this? It's just highly odd that her home caught on fire. We have all of these different allegations coming out. If you guys recall, um, Mr. Bonds came out. Um, he was basically singing like a bird, telling everything that he knew with regards to Diddy. And then shortly thereafter, he started singing a different tune basically saying oh well the fights were not that bad well sir if the fights were not that bad why did you come to social media basically saying all of these things well i don't believe um what uh, mr bonds was saying when he stated that the fights were not that bad because keep in mind mr bonds was actually the um security that was included by cassie so cassie actually added him and basically said he was one of the ones that 
actually intervene in one of those fights. So I'm just trying to figure out like, is Diddy hands in this fire that happened at Kimora's home? Kimora Lee Simmons shared a series of pictures on um, social media, and this was one of them. Um, so this seems to have been a very bad fire. I mean, I can count, um, looks like six people in this picture, and I don't know, you know, where the others were or um, how large this fire was. Uh, but apparently she's saying that, you know, she's thankful, you know, for them saving their lives. So it was definitely something very serious for her to take to social media um, and let us know that this, you know, has happened. But I listen, I don't trust Diddy. All the things that's coming out on him now, this is stuff that they've been saying for years. Um, not only have they stated um, these things with regards to these acts with women and men, they have also stated that he has K-I-L-L-E-D people. Um, so this is what the streets are saying. Now we can name people, um, you know, there, you know, it's alleged that he has something to do with Kim Porter's death. It is alleged that he tried to off Al be sure. Let's talk about Tupac. Let's talk about Biggie. So many people, they have been saying for years that Diddy is in fact the devil. We have to understand that Diddy is in fact a dangerous man. Not only are the allegations swirling, and I don't even know if we want to call them allegations anymore. These, this, this is this is factual stuff. I mean, People are coming out stating that they witnessed it. I mean, I literally need to sit down and just take account of everybody's name and do a whole video and just talk about all the different people because at this point, it is like swirling out of control. Every day, somebody is coming out saying, yeah, he did that. Yeah, I saw that. One guy came out, I think his name is Columbus something. I can't recall his name. He said Diddy called him one night and asked him to come, you know, come to his hotel. And he was like, okay, cool. Who's there? And he was like, me. So he was like, why would Diddy call me to his hotel and there's nobody there but him? So people were like, well, did you go? And he was like, hell no. Then another guy came out and said, like, Diddy would ask them, you know, hey, you know, we're going to go into a meeting. And he would tell them, you know, come to my room or whatever. They said they would show up to his room and he would be butt ass naked. And then they said they would be like, like, dude, like, why would this dude call us to a meeting and then be butt ass naked? So they were saying what he was, what he was trying to do was groom them because why would you invite somebody knowing that you is booty naked? Like how uncomfortable that person must have felt. But I am, um, I, I don't know, like there is no information out here that's saying that he had something to do um, with the house fire that, um, you know, that caused the house fire to Kamora Lee Simmons' um, home. But I'm just talking um, and we are talking together, trying to figure this out because again, I don't trust Diddy. His own people that he hang around said he's the devil. So I don't know. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that, you know, some, this can be tied to him? Again, I don't put nothing past this dude. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you all in the next video.